Okay, so uh, this is, uh, originally I pitched this as uh, no concepts beyond this point. Um, I found this image by searching uh, sad dog. So, uh, but really what this talk is, is six emperor sphine. Um, so who the good gosh darn heck am I? Uh, I'm Isabella Marte, I'm a C++ Bruja, which means I write uh, dark template metaprogramming magic. Uh, my Twitter is slurps mad rips, and my GitHub is slurps dash mad dash rips. Um, so really what I'm gonna be talking about real quick is the detection idiom. It's part of the library fundamentals v, uh, v2 TS, which you can find on cppreference.com if you need more information. It's extremely powerful. It's a way to build, uh, implement built-in type traits with <laughs> the compiler, and it's also a way to poorly implement concept slides. So basically just the type constraint stuff. So concepts, Dave just spoke about them. We want them real bad, right? Well, you know, this is what we want, and this is what we have. <laughs> and this is what we want, and this is what we have. <laughs> and this is what we want, and this is what we have. <laughs> Laser raves are kind of okay. So what does the API look like for the detection idiom? Well, um, you have an is detected type, um, which inherits from some form of a bool const. You have detected t, which is basically just a, uh, an identity. Detected or, which is um, kind of, you know, if it can't find the type that you're trying to detect, it returns the type that you pass in. Uh, there's is detected exact, which is you want it to be the exact same type. And there's is detected convertible, which is uh, the type has to be implicitly convertible to the, uh, convertible to the type two. Uh, there's also uh, none such, which is a, uh, um, a special type that's basically everything inside of it's deleted. You can't instantiate it. You can only pass in as a template type. Um, I did want to find uh, an image of Spinal Tap saying uh, none such uh, templates, but couldn't get that in in time. Um, so how does it work? It uses std void t under the, under the covers. Um, it's really easy to implement void t. You can go back and watch 2014 uh, Walter E. Brown's talk. Um, you can do uh, like a whole bunch of stuff with void t, but it's better if you use detection idiom because you can do even more things with it. So um, it's technically a C++ 7 feature, but you can do it in C++ 11 and C++ 14. I've done it multiple times. But writing code is easier than writing slides. So, oh, that's the wrong, wrong one. So this is the prelude uh, header I have here. Um, basically just a bunch of usings and the uh, types that we need just to get everything that we have. Uh, you'll notice I have conjunction, disjunction, and negation um, from the uh, std. Uh, library for C++ 17. Um, and so here's what we have. So we have a require, we have an either, we have a disallow, which is the opposite of require. Uh, we have uh, changed these names and also made them const extra bools because a concept is actually just a const extra bool. Um, and uh, we have a quick check here to do uh, swap with so we can detect swap, just so I can prove a point. And then we have uh, some operators here. You'll notice that these are just decal types with decal vowels inside of them because detected lets you just check expressions. Um, so we have uh, also type defs uh, that are dependent. So we have a swappable with, and we say if you know this is an expression that we can do with the previously showed uh, you know swaps with, then this will be true. Otherwise, it will be false. Uh, same with um, some of these are already standard values, so. We can just assign them, let the compiler take care of it. But if I wanted to do copy assignable, I could just make a template uh, um, meta function that works with this detected. So equality compare, everybody knows that one. Uh, you know, you want that type to be convertible to bool. It has to use the equals operator and it takes a t and a u. Simple. Uh, we're going to have it so that u is also t by default. Saves us some time. An iterator, uh, according to the CPP references, it has a copy constructible type. Copy signable, destructible, swappable. It has a postfix increment, prefix increment, and a dereference. An input iterator can be a pointer, or it can be an e a type that is equality comparable. An iterator has a value type uh, alias, a reference alias, and either when dereference returns a type that it is the reference, or converts to value type, um, and all this other stuff. And so you'll see here that I have these static asserts in, and this compiles. Um, and so you'll see here, I have this. So if I, so that runs, but if I do, oh, I 
I should have closed that one. Damn it. You'll notice this is not how you would ever want to use for each. And so we get a nice little static assert. But if you use it with um, uh, enable if, you'll basically just get a very simple, we couldn't deduce the type. You don't get a whole bunch of garbage stream. And uh, because I know that I wasn't going to have enough time, um, I did. All right, there we go. So um, if you now go to github.com slash source dash mad dash rip slash cxx dash com sets, you can actually see all the code that I'm showing you, and you can uncomment this stuff and play around with it and basically see everything that I just did. So, uh, and then, uh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Thank you. Cool.